Growing up into the 80s and into the 90s, there was really only two men that I could say were Batman. The first one being Michael Keaton uh, in his two Batman movies, Batman 89 and Batman Returns. And of course, when it comes to the animated version of Batman, uh, nobody can surpass the talents of the one, the only Kevin Conroy. Who, those of us that watched Batman the Animated Series in the 90s, and even into the 2000s with uh, Justice League Unlimited, know that iconic voice. And it was amazing how he was able to separate Bruce Wayne from Batman with the different tones, inflections, whatever, between the two characters. And for those of you that might remember earlier this year when Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League came out and they deleted Batman, they really did Kevin Conroy dirty, in my opinion. And it's just not my opinion, it's the opinion of others, too. Well, folks, now that can be corrected. Because in DC Animation's Crisis on Infinite Earths Part Three, we get to hear Kevin Conroy one last time. And I'll tell you, after watching this clip, um, man, it, it is, it is so apropos when you understand the context of this final, of this scene. So hopefully I don't get copyrighted by Warner Brothers Discovery for playing this minute clip, but I'm going to play it and share it with you. Now, do you notice how that's the, uh, the, similar to the iconic scene from the intro to the TV show? For those of you that remember the, the Batman, the animated series TV show, that, that is so striking. And, and to me, it's powerful. It's powerful that they did that. Now, even though Mark Hamill's a total jackass, for lack of a better term, and I, as others, have been crapping all over him, and thank you, Gina Carano, for your post, for just um, smashing Mark Hamill for his outrageous take Monday on X. For those of you who don't know, watch my video I did earlier today about Gina Carano just giving a scathing retort of Mark Hamill over on X. But Mark Hamill, like him or not, he is the definitive Joker. He, he is the voice of the Joker. He's the Joker. Some would say he's a Joker in real life. <laughs> I'm flattered. The end of the world, and you want to spend it with me? I didn't know you cared. <laughs> so before we get to the infamous line here, for those of you that don't know, Crisis on Infinite Earths is basically the destruction of the multiverse in the DC universe. And it was done in the comics. Uh, it was done on the TV show Arrow and the other CD... CW shows as part of the Arrowverse, and now it's become a three-part animated series. I 
I care, Joker. About Gotham. About justice. And if it has to end, at least I go out like this. Being Batman. And there you have it. There you have it. That is the way that Kevin Conroy should be remembered as Batman. And as this person here says in the comments, there could not have been a more badass final line. This hits so different in context. RIP Kevin Conroy. And this person here says, and if it has to end, at least I go out like this being Batman. That was perfect. Not the abomination that they did with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League doing Kevin Conroy a disservice. This was the perfect way for Kevin Conroy to be remembered and for him to go out as the Dark Knight. So what do you guys think? Have you seen this clip yet? If you haven't, there you go. And um, comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.